I actually feel somewhat awake for the first time in like three days. Yeah. Might be something to do with the 400 milligrams of caffeine that I've had. It was like an hour and a half on the way there, and like, it's about two hours, 20 on the way back. Basically, it was quick on the way and slow on the way back. Head is high in the sky. What? Isn't it mad that there's such beautiful places so close? Like, quicker than you get to fucking Manchester. Mad. Yeah. Need you together, give me the light. I need you for a single moment tonight. Give me your wings, I need to fly. We can go high up into the sky. I've been talking a lot in my videos about being uh, alone. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, there we go. Oh God. So I believe that this trip to Prague Although very busy, although very hectic, although very, 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 very tiring was exactly what I needed for, for me at this point in my life. I have been to level with you all, um, struggling a little bit. Like, just with everything that's going on, I've been letting things get on top of me, right? Friendships, relationships, business, just life in general. I have, not on purpose, but it does happen, let that happen. Um, and kind of similarly to when I went away to America last year. When I went there, it was me focusing on myself, doing my thing, and just doing what it is that I love and doing what it is that I wanted to do. This trip was the exact same, right? I made a couple of my own videos, I made a bunch of stuff for, for Christian and, and, and Co. Stay tuned on his channels and all that kind of stuff to see that, that's gonna be really cool. Um, but my point is, this trip was me doing that same thing, that same mindset that I was in, where I'm okay with being alone, where I'm okay with doing things by myself. That trip, this trip that I just had, kind of put me back in that, that mindset. I don't know how to kind of explain it in any other way other than that. I needed it. I really, really needed it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ready, Derek? Are you ready? Okay. Ba 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 da ba da ba. Da 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 da. Fuck off. Ten, twelve, 
bitch. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. Hello. How we doing, people? New piece of kit down here at UFB. And we've got the boss man on. He's gonna, he's gonna talk you through what amazing equipment we have here at this wonderful Okay, facility. so this is a Live Fitness Pro 2 Series chest press. Now, I've been after this machine for God knows, God knows how long. I said it come up last week. I thought, you know what? I don't wanna miss out on the opportunity, so I had to get it. And lo and behold, the next day, it got delivered. Uh, Selectorized chest press, so with this is a heavy stack. You know, I stacked it for 20 reps yesterday, so it's not that heavy. Fucking hell, did you? However, <laughs> the great thing about this machine, it converges, so when you press, it comes in the middle, so you get that contraction. And another beauty about this machine, you can adjust the depth so you can get a really good stretch. If you haven't got the mobility, you can set it so it comes as far as you need to. But great machine. If you come to Ultimate Fitness, make sure you give it a go. Yeah? Let me know how you get on. I've not actually used it properly yet. That's the first thing I jumped on when I came in the room though. I feel like I've used one of these before. You probably have. I don't know where though. Probably strength for time or somewhere. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Very. Nice contraction. It's smooth. Yeah. And we have one more sheen coming before Christmas, so stay tuned for that. Also, we have, might have a very, very special guest who's just won a Mr. Olympia competition two weeks ago, coming to UFB. Stay tuned for that. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, lovely. Lovely. Realistically, I was in a bit of a funk. Like, I mean, I probably still am, like, depends which way you kind of look at it. Um, ooh, beep, beep. I'm not actually doing cardio. I'm just using this as a bench right now. Realistically, I was in a bit of a funk with life. Um, as I say, a lot of things getting on top of me, not, not an awful lot I could do about said things. I wasn't sure what to do about said things. That was pretty, pretty well documented on this channel. Um, but I feel like this trip helped to give me kind of a little bit of clarity on, on what I want and how I want to get there and what I need to do, the kind of person that I need to be, you know? Um, and that is a person that, as selfish as it sounds, at this point in time for my life, I need to live for me, I need to do me, and I need to be who I wanted to be a year ago. Because over the past kind of year, that had become clouded and I kind of lost that. Um, and again, that's been documented on this channel. So I feel like slightly to an extent, I still don't really know 100%, but this trip definitely helped me get that kind of clarity that I needed to, to help move forwards, you know? With being alone, with being independent and doing what it is that I need to do for me. Despite this trip being for other people, I was filming for other people, it helped to give me that kind of clarity. The same as what America did last year when I went to Alpha Land and all of that kind of stuff, you know? Because at the end of the day, I was there filming for other people, filmed for NFM UK and I was filming the documentary stuff and then my stuff was in between, right? You know? Similarly, I was there filming for other people now in Prague. I don't know, I, I, just, I think it just helps. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Ah. Circumstance. I think now I made it clear. Looked straight into our eyes and said, "You're about to have the best night of your life." Ba ba da ba ba da. I'm on my way to see my yeah, ex. Liquor and cigarettes. Yeah, it's a chasing status, yes, I do, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, 
I feel like everybody kind of needs to get to a point in their lives where they realize that and whether you have to go through something good, something bad in between like whatever it is that you kind of have to go through, whatever has to kind of happen, there has to be some sort of switch. People tend to not just realize on their own, something has to happen. Whatever it is that you need to kind of go through, I feel happened in that trip to America. And then over the past year, that kind of fizzled out. This is the tune. Fizzle out or not, I feel like I'm there again now. And I'm not gonna lose that shit. No fucking chance. Head screwed on, focused. I know what I need to do now. And I don't know how and I don't know what, well, I do know how and I do know why, and it's not very nice, but it happened. Um, but I'm doing this, I'm here and I'm ready. Right, let's carry on because these tunes are banging. Whew. Oh, oh my God. Ba ba bum bum ba ba bum bum. Oh god, I'm gonna have to take this off. Sweating that bad. This t-shirt looks fucking slept in. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't even mean for Badadan to come on when you're holding it. Oh. Fucking hell, like six sets of that. Do you want to look twice the size? Just standing in the crack of a mirror. Look at that, fucking hell. It's gonna be so much fun to fucking edit. Oh my God. One thing I'm so grateful for is this kind of like raw style of content kind of coming back. This is what I used to kind of make when I was back at home. When I was back in the home gym and everything that I've said over the past like two months has kind of been directed towards me being that kind of person again and acting like that in, in real life, in, on camera and all of that kind of stuff. I feel like I became somewhat sheltered and shared less over the past year in particular. Um, but I moved out two, three years ago now. You know, that's a long time to essentially change who you are as a person and, and things happen in life and things definitely fucking have happened in life for me over that period of time, right? A lot that has just not made it to YouTube at all because it's private. I share a lot of my life all the time. I'm always sharing everything that I do except those little bits that you just don't want to share, you know? A lot of the time that's to do with relationships, that's to do with family, a lot of the time that's to do with just things that you don't want to be talking about in the public eye, you know, or at least putting out there. It's so hard to focus on like talking about self-improvement when these bangers are on in the background. Ah! Nobody better than we. Nobody better than we. Yeah. Ba da dum, ba da dum, ba da dum. 
Nobody better than we. Anyway, I'm very glad about this style of content coming back purely because it allows me to just do exactly that, right? It allows me to just kind of be, be myself on camera again. Like, I feel like, I don't know, because if you feel restricted to a certain kind of style of content, um, which I did, to be honest, it can be restrictive to you as a, as a creator. And so me being able to film videos like this and just post videos like this, not only has engagement, code users, all that kind of stuff since doing this again, gone back up, so has my happiness when it comes to doing this, you know? With my videos in particular. Just dancing around the gym, like, that is just me. That is just what I do. That is just what makes me happiest. I can't explain it, it just is. Oh, you've got to do is say the word. Bum, bum, bum. Ah. Ah. Lovely. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think we will call it a day there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bouncy vlog with me. I certainly had a lot of fun filming it, so if you have, let me know. I'll leave in a like, all that usual stuff. And, oh, I'm sorry, breath, fuck me. I will see you all, beautiful people, in the next video. More travel videos, more training videos, more of just me doing me is coming. This so feels good, feels good. Okay, right, I'm off. I've got some more, I've got one more exercise to do. I'm cutting the camera here. See you later.